Coach Don Richardson and student athletes Rachel Roop and Carly Keeney. We're going to start with an opening statement from Coach, move on to questions in the room, and then questions from the Zoom. First of all, very proud of Liberty Softball and the team and what happened. And I can list every single player, just super proud of them. Uh, when you play UCLA and being able to beat them on their home field, it, it's just amazing. As an alum, um, just uh, just felt so good to be able to, I've always used them as a benchmark and um, where Liberty Softball's at right now, we're gonna continue to try and build that tradition of excellence at UCLA has always had. So proud too of Grand Canyon and what they've been able to do and how they glorify the Lord and um, we feel the same way. We kind of feel like we're the Grand Canyon of the East and they're the Liberty of the West and it was just really, um, just such a blessing to be able to play them as well and how good a season they've had. Um, I mean, we're right here next to two superstars, and I could tell you that um, with the team uh, showed up today, we need to continue to do that. It's not over. Um, big wins this year with Alabama, Clemson, UCLA. We want to keep it going. And uh, Carly's just done an outstanding job. Rupi showed up, and she's really leading you know, offensively. Um, so I can talk forever, but I know you want to talk to the real stars here. Questions. Joe Connery from Liberty. Uh, Rupi, just real quick, um, you did it both ways, uh, both with the bat and with your wheels in that first game. Uh, how 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 do you feel running around third uh, and then making that head first slide? Um, I felt very confident. Um, Coach and I were like talking when I was on the base, and like I was going regardless, like to do or die and I trusted her and I knew that I had a good jump on the ball and Chada was going to hit the ball and it worked out and just how we planned so just trusting everyone around me. And then uh, how, how good did it feel to start that second game with that quick two round homer? Felt good you know um, I was trying to make adjustments today compared to yesterday and previous post game tournament so um, just doing what I can and trusting Sammy and what she had told me. Thank you. And this one's for Carly. Um, really uh, locked, locked it down after that first uh, batter. Uh, How did you feel you were able to uh, settle in uh, in the UCLA game? Well, I just had faith that my that my hitters were going to get some runs for me. Um, we played great defense behind me, so when we do that, it gives me more confidence. Um, and once you get going and kind of establish yourself throughout the game, it helps to carry it through. Uh, speaking of great defense, you were in on it yourself. Uh, the, liner back to you in the second game. Uh, is that something you pride yourself on is your own good defense? Yeah, I try to be. I try to be an athletic fielding pitcher. doesn't always work out, but uh, Devin, Devin did a great job getting to the bag on that too, so got some help from my teammates. Um, lastly, uh, two straight uh, complete game victories. Uh, is that something you're, you're just re ready to do, ready to take the ball? Oh, yeah. I'll take it as much as I can get it. Um, Looking forward to tomorrow. Um, what, what what's what's going to be the key? Well, I think just playing our game, how we did today. Uh, good pitching, good hitting, and keeping the energy up. I think when we do that, we're hard to beat. For coach, <coughs> sorry, for coach Richardson. Um, obviously, uh, what what did that first game mean to you personally, and then as a program, the UCLA one? Well, personally just love to compete against the best. And UCLA is one of the best. Uh, I think for the program, huge. It just shows everyone what we can do. It's not a fluke. We've been able to do it for top teams. And, um, you know, it's just a great game. And I heard it was put on ESPN2. I, ho I hope it stayed on there. It was a great game. Um, great athletes just saw God's gift to, to, to all of them, their talents. and. Everyone hopefully was on the edge of their seats. It was pretty cool, and just Ruby had to feel good having a part of it. So, both rounds. Nice. <laughs> you, you, you had a stretch there after, well, spanning uh, several games where every run that we scored was a home run. I believe it was 10 runs. Uh, then Ruby scored that run that was the first like, non-home run run since 
the Queen series. It's been crazy, um, yeah. How, how did it feel to uh, manufacture some of those runs, put put the ball in play, especially, especially that second game, uh, some of those hits with Ronald's scoring position? Yeah, it was great. I don't know. I think we ended up with nine hits or something, but I love putting the arm up for a home run, but it was nice to move the arm a little bit, and it was fun, you know, that everyone got into it because tomorrow's game against San Diego State, we're going to have to produce. You know, we got to put the ball on the ground. we got to use our speed. And it's okay to have power as well. But I know that the power on our team, they love to hit more than just, you know, solo home runs. They like to hit their teammates in. So let's just make sure it happens. And it was good to see KK and Sav and MC had a great game, was ripping the ball and her speed. And um, so we got to get, we got to get one through nine. Let's do it. And was that a point of emphasis in that second game? Uh, you saw the first and third double steal, the KK scoring from second on the ground out. Was that just you know putting pressure and getting re rewarded for that? Exactly. When you have speed, you can't teach speed. We have a lot of it, so we got to get the Jackrabbits on, right? We got to get the speed, and it was great. Their confidence is built up now, and we popped it up the first couple innings, and it was like, come on, ladies, we got to start putting the ball on the ground. You know, we just got to start doing it. And we saw three really good pitchers from Grand Canyon. They were all different. And I loved our response. Megan Fortner, just showing how great a defense she has as well and hope she gets a golden glove. She's really doing fantastic. And the other is on a changeup to be able to put the ball deep like she did for a home run was awesome too. All right, thank you. Thanks for the questions. Do we have any questions from the Zoom? Uh, yes, uh, Eric Lopez in the circle. Uh, Doc, we just we literally spoke 24 hours ago. You told me, you foreshadowed this, that it reminded you of the Knoxville region. I'm curious, as a coaching staff and for the veteran players, how did that experience help you today? Well, you have a player to my left over here, and Rupi, were you in that one? No, no you're young, you're a baby. Uh, but I can tell you that everything happens for a reason, and... You know, that reason is just for us to continue to learn and take the experience. And, you know, it was, it was interesting. My husband had said in Knoxville, hey, going for Tennessee and beating them once, knocking them out, you guys can do it. And I thought the same thing with UCLA. You know, um, it's tough to beat them a number of times. So it just worked in our favor. But Carly is over here because she experienced both. Yeah, I think definitely being able to pitch in that Knoxville Regional and beating out Tennessee, it just gave me a lot of confidence going into the day. Um, you know, I wasn't nervous at any point in the game. I, I didn't feel the pressure. I was I was ready to win, and I knew my team had my back. So I think being in that position and knowing that we could do it kind of translated to today. Question for the three of you. You beat UCLA. The whole softball world is talking about it. It's exploding. It's all everybody's talking about it. Yet you all were able to stay focused and fo on Grand Canyon after that, when, after that emotional high. How were you all able to do that and focus right away after one of the most historic wins in the history of the sport? Um, I think for us it was kind of like, Social media definitely puts a lot of pressure on. So I think in between games, like nobody was on their phones, nobody was on that. Like we were just focused on Grand Canyon. It's really easy to get caught up in it. So it's important as a player right now during this time, like staying off of social media, kind of focusing on the task at hand, and like not listening to everything else going on. For sure. Well, as a coach, it's purposeful for me. You know, the elation, but also we got to move forward. You can't. You know, you can't relish in it. No. I mean, it's not over. And to beat UCLA, it's not finished yet, right? we got to do our best, play our best um, to, to win it. Um, so my focus was each of us trying to use the gifts God has given us, stay focused on that, give him the glory, and just keep moving on, moving forward. Yeah, I think, it, I think the same things they said. Um, it also just comes from a place of respect. You know, we watched Grand Canyon beat UCLA yesterday, so we know they're a good team. They weren't just going to lay down for us. So I think just respecting them and knowing that it was going to be a tough game too and just putting our all into that one. All right, we have time for one more question. Zoom? Uh, yeah, I want to ask Carly. I know you want the ball every chance you can get hit it, but that doesn't necessarily mean 
you're always going to be able to go out there and do what you do. That's an extra. That's an extra level to do things the way you do them every time you get the ball. Tell me about your endurance. Um, well, we definitely worked on it over Christmas break. I know I threw a lot to kind of in preparation for this season. Um, you know, every time I get the ball, I, I just go out there and I try to do whatever my team needs. And if that's throwing two complete games, then that's what I got to do, you know. Um, I've kind of done it my whole life. I've had to be the number one arm coming from a small town. Um, so I think that's just kind of helped me into who I am today. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.